Fox 25's Tom George. He's live downtown Oklahoma City. He's got his place all set up. He's getting ready, of course, for the 30th annual opening night. And uh, is that the crane behind you? That is starting to look like a little bit more of a party here. Uh, the, the crane just arrived a few minutes ago. I'll, I'll get, step out of the way and give you a quick look here. Uh, they just pulled it up onto this side street. They have a couple barricades right there next to it. So what's going to happen is uh, once that once they get set up, we'll pan over real quick and show you. Right there is where they're going to set up the actual ball rise. Not a ball drop, the ball rise. That's their annual tradition here in Oklahoma City. Of course, that happening at midnight. But a lot of activities happening even before then. Uh, actually, at 4 o'clock, they're going to have their... Uh, 5K run, and then at 7 o'clock they're going to be starting music and uh, five different venues, entertainment on seven different stages here. Uh, they're also going to have some kid-friendly activities, a children's area inside the Civic Center Hall of Mirrors. Uh, the organizers say there's going to be a lot of fun and something for everyone. There's something maybe you've been wanting to see but haven't had the time. With your wristband, not only do you get into all of the venues, but you also get to go and check out the different exhibits that are happening there. Now, if you have one of those wristbands, you can also check out some of the exhibits at the uh, Museum of Art right across the street. And uh, this year, they say all those venues are going to be pretty close together, so you can easily walk from one to the other and enjoy all the music and festivities. Uh, now, if you want to get one of those wristbands, you can get them for $8 in advance or $10 at the actual event. And if you have any kids, kids five and under are free. You can pick up one of those wristbands at 7-Eleven, uh, Homeland, Mid-First Bank, and at the Arts Council of OKC. And now, as you see behind me, uh, moving a lot with this crane we're excited to kind of get everything set up and of course maybe in the next couple hours they're gonna actually have the ball set up so we're gonna of course stay on top of this and let you know as this party starts to come together here downtown for now we'll send it back to the studio ain't no party like a tom george party because a par tom george party don't stop Oklahoma's going to be partying, ringing in the new year with one of this year's biggest football games in college. Yep, yeah, the Oklahoma Sooners are gearing up for this afternoon's Orange Bowl. They're facing off against the Clemson Tigers in Miami. Fox 25's Myron Patton's